this past week the approval of the Moderna vaccine uh, by the FDA after, I think, a rich uh, discussion and review by the VRPAC. Uh, as you could see, I hope you had the chance to attend uh, parts or if not all of those conversations, efficacy uh, and safety were frankly uh, uh, overwhelmingly positive. Uh, so was the vote, the positive vote. The only point of discussion that took place was in regard of what to do uh, for the placebo recipients in the trial. Should they be kept on placebo? Should there be a provided vaccine on the basis of uh, priority populations as various uh, uh, risk populations are offered vaccine in the general population? Or should they all be offered vaccine? And really what's at stake is how much more information can be extracted from a placebo controlled part of the trial versus a non-placebo controlled part of the trial. I'll be happy to address any questions you may have in that regard. There is also uh, the start of a trial in adolescent population age 12 to uh, 18 to uh, uh, enhance the label and expand the use in the population. And because of the great immunogenicity of that vaccine, there's also considerations on those sparing uh, trials in order to see whether a somewhat lower dose than 100 uh, uh, microgram that's being used uh, could be as effective as the full dose. Uh, that's regarding Moderna. Uh, regarding Pfizer, we have continuing conversation, very constructive with the company in order to continue helping with their manufacturing uh, requirements and in order to uh, support their efforts to uh, ensure that they would be able to provide us with an additional 100 million doses in the second quarter of 2021. Uh, and those discussions and negotiations are uh, ongoing and progressing very well. On the uh, Johnson & Johnson Janssen's vaccine, the trial has been closed for recruitment now with uh, a little bit north of 43,000 subjects in the study. Uh, really a remarkable speed of execution of that trial, a significant accretion of cases, unfortunately, in the study that's being conducted in Latin America and, uh, and in the US. And uh, we expect to have enough cases for at least an interim analysis early in January. We are working hard with uh, Johnson & Johnson and with uh, uh, Emergent to ensure that we maximize or optimize the number of vaccine doses that would be produced, formulated, vialed, quality controlled, and released in the month of February. And that the numbers uh, vary and we're, we're trying to optimize that number to enhance the number of individuals vaccinated with that one shot uh, vaccine. We're, we're optimistic that it should uh, progress quickly. Uh, AstraZeneca, uh, the phase three trial that's being running in the US has now recruited north of 26,000 subjects. So getting close to the 30,000 mark, which is the objective of that trial. You know also that there are trials that phase three trials running in the UK and Brazil and we are expecting a further analysis of those trials in the near future, hopefully shedding uh, more light uh, on the performance of that vaccine specifically. I'm sure you are all very uh, attentive to the situation in the UK and the description of the uh, uh, particular variant uh, virus. I had conversations this morning with my UK counterpart. Uh, I think scientifically to date, there is no hard evidence that this virus is actually uh, more transmissible. There is clear evidence that there is more of it in the population and whether it's due to a higher capacity to transmit or whether it's due to the fact that we now are able to sequence all the time and see the virus while when it was seeding the population in the southeast of the UK, uh, we were not or they were not looking for this particular uh, variant. Uh, so, so it may be just uh, seeding happened in the shadows and we're, we're seeing now a surge or maybe it has a higher transmissibility. What's clear, it's not more pathogenic. Uh, and what's also ongoing is studies uh, both in the UK and here at the NIH where we're trying to isolate a virus that's a particular setup that allows for rapid 
neutralization of, of the virus to assess that indeed serum and antibodies raised by the vaccines are able to neutralize this virus, which is very likely the expected outcome, and also whether some of the monoclonal antibodies that uh, Mr. Secretary just spoke about as two approved medicines here in the U.S. are still effective against uh, this variant. Uh, finally, uh, also at the NIH, there is now planning, advanced planning for a study in highly allergic individuals for a clinical trial to test the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine and try to understand the immune mechanisms that are underpinning any reactions, if such reactions happen in, in, uh, in the population, in order to improve our capacity to predict and manage uh, any reactions if they were to happen. 